Today I'm going to show you how to frame a photo, big and small, with actually no frame and no glass either. Hi there, I'm Rebecca and I am an artist. I usually work in oil paints, but today I have a crafty idea that I want to show you. This is going to be a gift for my mom. It's a photo of the family and I'm actually going to apply it to this board, art resin it, and make a lovely gift for my mom. I'm just going to glue it, but we're not going to use wet glue like school glue. We're going to use a glue stick. When you put this on the board, you won't have glue seeping out from underneath. White glue and other kinds of glue are wet, and so what happens when you make paper wet? It ripples, and we don't want that. Just to make sure there's no air bubbles or any clumps of glue under there, I'm going to use this handy tool. This is a brayer that's used typically with printmaking. If you don't have one of these, you can use anything. You're just going to roll over it, squeaky, get out any bubbles. Okay, I need to just trim on the edge. I have a piece propped up on these little pieces of wood, and that way when I resin, the resin can just actually fall over the edges. So I have my level here, we go that way. So we get this way. Perfect. First, I'm going to measure out equal parts of the A part and the B part, resin and hardener. Then I'm going to mix them together in a larger container and stir thoroughly, scraping the sides as I go, probably about two or three minutes of mixing. And then I will pour on top of my picture and spread it out. So there's actually a lot of bubbles this time and I need to get rid of that. So I'm going to use a blowtorch to do that. If you don't want to use a blowtorch or if you don't have very many bubbles, you can use a heat gun or you can scrape them with your spreader or you can blow on them to get them out. But this time around I have a lot so I'm going to use a blowtorch and it works best. So the reason why blowtorches work is because the fire takes the oxygen, which is the bubbles, and sucks it up to use it to make the fire, and so it eliminates all the oxygen bubbles that are in the resin. Woohoo! I love it! That is like a perfect, perfect resin job. Let this sit for 24 hours, and we'll see how it looks tomorrow. I think it's going to look great. So it's the next day, and look, it turned out great. My mom's going to love this. As you can see, the resin didn't make any of the ink run. It doesn't damage the quality of the print at all. What it really does is just seal everything in. It'll actually stand the test of time longer having the resin on top. Here's another one I made. This is a smaller version, just your standard four by six photograph. Again, just on a little wood panel. In the next video, I'm gonna experiment with doing kind of a shadow box technique with multiple layers of resin. So tune into that and I'll see you next time.